I need passenger lists for all flights leaving Port Charles tonight at December 6th. Domestic or international? Both. We're looking for Duke Lavery and Anna Devane. The commissioner? Yeah. Sounds like you're in the middle of a crisis. Yeah. What's up, Michael? I need you to arrest Dad. Of course. Uh, Excuse me. I took him down to the ER, but it was taking entirely too long. Would you be able to help him, please? Yeah, why don't you take a seat over here? Uh, thank you, Santa. Elizabeth, it's been a long time. I know you are back, but I heard you couldn't attend Edward's funeral because you were under house arrest. Uh, yeah, well, it's, it's all been cleared up. It's, it's good to see you. I'm sorry, I can't say the same. What does Sonny do now? He assaulted AJ. What do you mean? Hey, you should know that Dad and I haven't exactly been getting along lately. Okay. But Star convinced me to talk to him, and when I walked in, he was hitting AJ. Hang on. AJ is not small or helpless. I'm sure he could defend himself. Not huh? from this. You know how Dad gets when he loses it completely. Yeah, that bad? Yeah, Star had to take AJ to the hospital. Sonny, why, why did you go after AJ? I have no idea what happened before me and Star came in there, but there was blood all over the boxing ring. When Michael was younger... Boxing ring? So, Sonny and AJ were sparring? It wasn't sparring, it was a beatdown. Was AJ wearing gloves? What does that have to do with that? Just answer the question. Yeah, he was wearing gloves. Then I'm sorry, Michael, AJ agreed to the match. Mm. You can wait in here. I'll be right back. Okay, thanks, Liz. <clears throat> you sure do have a way with people. Oh, you noticed, did you? <clears throat> A lot of amends to make. I just wish Michael hadn't seen Sonny beating the crap out of me. Is that a fact? Do you actually think that I wanted Michael to see Sonny pounding on me? You wanted Sonny to look like a bad guy in Michael's eyes and for you to look like the innocent victim. Right? I thought it was a little convenient that Sonny just happened to be wailing on you when Michael and I walked in the door. How would I have possibly known that you guys were going to show up? I mean, think about it. It doesn't make any sense, least of all to me. Why would you think that? Because it sounds exactly like something my own father would do. When we... Michael's not the only one who has a father with a shady past and a shaky grasp on what's right and wrong. My dad knows all the tricks, which is why I know you are manipulating Michael and trying to slam Sonny in the process. Look, I'm sorry that your family's had problems. But think about what you're saying. How would I have possibly known that you guys were going to show up? Look... Michael just wants to know you. And I want to know him. Uh, does it have to be at Sonny's expense? Sonny has been so good to Michael. Now, I got to tell you, I, I find that really interesting, coming from a girl who was just inches away from shooting Sonny. And how do you know about that? Honey, you're dating my son. I do my homework. So what do you say you cut the crap and explain to me why you're defending Sonny? Because it turned out he was innocent. Connie is the one who killed my boyfriend and my daughter. Think about it, Dante. The two people Dad relied on the most to run the business and keep him level are gone, Jason and Bernie. Not to mention Kate. And Dad doesn't handle loss well. He lashes out, he gets angry, and AJ got in his way. Okay, even if you're right, Michael, what's locking up Sonny gonna do? <sighs> I don't know, I mean, he's not gonna go to prison. I mean, he'll spend at the most 48 hours in lockup. Maybe it'll give him a reality check. Then you really want to do that to your father? No, what I don't want is to walk in and see AJ on the ground bleeding and Dad standing over him again like he was tonight. Okay, I'm not arguing with what you saw, but AJ got into the ring, so there's not much I can do. Okay, you walked in on the tail end of a fight. For all we know, it was AJ's fault. You're blaming AJ. No, I'm not blaming anyone. I'm saying there's two sides to every story. Let me ask you this. Did, did you come here on your own, or did AJ send you? Look, I'm sorry for your loss. I, I cannot begin to imagine how hard that must be. But I'm not Connie. I'm not your dad. I'm just a guy trying to get to know his son. Okay, it looks like I'm the one that's going to be patching you up. Did you hand anyone on your insurance card? Um, I haven't had time to get one, um, or a license for that matter. Um, I, I can pay with cash if that's cool. Uh, it's in my wallet, which is in my jacket, which is at the gym. Um, do you think you could please go to the gym and get it for me before Sonny decides to torch it? Yeah. Sure. I wouldn't blame Sonny if you did. Are you taking his side? Do you have any idea how many people in Port Charles would like to take a crack at you? 
AJ's at the hospital. He has no idea that I'm here. And look, Dad tried to kill AJ before to keep him away from me. I don't want to see that happen again. You're not even listening to me. No, I am, Michael. I'm just a little busy right now. We got a backup of cases. The commissioner is missing. I still haven't found Jason's shooter. Is that really what's driving you here? What are you talking about? Jason's gone. The guy who went to prison to protect you, the guy you leaned on your whole life. He vanishes. All of a sudden, AJ drops out of the sky with his sad story that he was kept away from you because of Sonny. What do you think I see AJ as a replacement? I don't. Jason is irreplaceable. You know what? Maybe everyone's right. Maybe AJ is scum. Maybe he's as bad as everyone's saying, but even if that's true, he didn't deserve the beatdown that he got tonight. Look, if there's something I could change about Sonny, I wouldn't. It would be his temper and his warped code of ethics, but he raised you, Michael. He loves you. And how he feels about me is no excuse. I'm not saying it is. And if you really want to do this, you really want me to, to take AJ's statement, fine. But you got to think before I do. Do you really want to see your father arrested? Oh, what's she doing here? Don't be here. You need something, sir? AJ left his jacket. Well, he couldn't come get it himself? No, he's at the hospital getting stitches. Do you have any idea why Sonny would go after AJ like that? Look, AJ started talking smack. Sonny lost his temper. I think there was any way AJ knew that Michael was on his way over here? Well, Sonny didn't know. I don't see how AJ could have known. I convinced Michael to, to send this text. Do you think Sonny saw it? Why? Well, he hasn't checked his phone since we got into this ring. Do you think AJ could have seen it? I... If he knew that Michael was on his way over here, he could have set the whole thing up. Well, I can't say for sure AJ saw the text, but I know he was sitting on his bench changing his gloves. I gotta talk to Michael. So what's it gonna be? You want me to take AJ's statement? No. No. Uh... It's more important that you find who shot Jason. I'll talk to Dad. <laughs> and what does that mean? I don't want you to worry about it, okay? You got other stuff to focus on. Michael. What you said earlier. Jason is gone, and I, I'm, not, I'm not trying to, you know, replace him. But, uh, I am your brother. And I'm here for you if you need me. Thanks. And I'll, I'll think about what you said. Um, you know, he, he got, he had that cut on his forehead and he was bleeding, he got stitches. Michael, I need to tell you something. I'd like to... I had to go back to the gym to get AJ's jacket and when I did, I saw that, uh... Um, hey, Michael. Hey, AJ. How are you doing? You all right? Uh, my ego's a little banged up, but I'll live. I talked to Dante. Oh, the cop? Oh, come on, listen, please, don't do that. I appreciate your help. I got enough trouble. I don't want to go down the road. Yeah, I understand. Look, uh, I want you to know I'd back you at ELQ if I could. My, uh, wait, what, what do you mean if? The stock went into a trust. My mom owns my voting shares until I'm 25. You know, I'd back you, but she never would. Never's a long time. Who knows, maybe there's something I can do to change Carly's mind. But in the meantime, I'd still like you to work with me. You want me to work at EOQ? Yeah, father and son. Okay. All right. Okay, sounds good. All right. Now, easy. Oh, sorry. Thanks. <laughs> All right. 